Good morning. It's uh, Tuesday, August 18, 2015. It's about 8.15 in the morning. It's a little cool, about 68 degrees. We got a little bit of rain during the night, just a little tiny bit. I don't know if you can tell, but right there under the truck, uh, the truck is it's dry under the truck and a little damp around it. Just a little sprinkle. Larry's trying to see if he can get the cord fastened to the inside of the vacuum. Rewire. Rewire it. That orange cord is what we put on the other night and made it a lot better, but he still had the splice it, so now he's trying to get rid of the splice. I'm hoping it just divides in two screws in there. <laughs> It'd be nice to be able to use that without it getting hot. I think all vacuums get a little bit hot. You taped it so it was going to stay. Huh? You might be able to pull it now. I can't get my fingers on it because of the wire. Want me to pull? If you can. Yeah. It's slowly coming. you need? I don't know. More than that. You want to try pulling now? You're stronger than me. All right, you're going to have to push. I have to have enough go back up in here is where the wire was. Hmm. Okay. I need a little bit more anyway. Stepfather always said make sure you got enough to not enough. Yeah. Oh. And he should know. He was, he was an electrician. Let me try it with my fingers. You see that little hole way back in yeah, there? Yeah, I see it. Well that's where that screw's got to go. Oh, don't tighten it up no more. Okay. Yeah, I know. Don't want the cord to pull and move around either. Mm -hmm. Of course, it ain't. It's so tight in there anyway. It's snug. If it ain't, mm -hmm. the vacuum vibrates and it'll come loose. Get this done, you don't have to do anything the rest of the day. You got the work done for the day. Yeah, right. It don't work that way. Oh. And just pop in. <laughs> I guess. Put the new bag in. It'd be like a new vacuum. The vacuum works good as a new one now. Picked up everything and the cord didn't get hot, so yay, we're back in business. I thought I'd show you my new hiking boots I got Friday in Nelsonville. Got them from Rocky Outdoor Gear. It used to be that they made the shoes right there in uh, Nelsonville, the boots, and they were some of the best in the country. But they've had to close their workers and now they're imported from China like everything else. But they're still kind of nice boots. Um, they're lightweight that I like, and they come up on my ankle to protect my ankle. 
and they're uh, steel toed so I can use them when I'm working with the firewood too. And the sole there is probably get it give me a pretty good grip. So I put them on yesterday to start breaking them in, but they're pretty comfortable and don't need much breaking in. Uh, Larry got him a pair too, but he didn't get work boots. His was more of a cowboy boot, but they're the same brand. Georgia boot. Is it an impossible project? I don't know. Should I try it? It's a big one trying to get this gate so it swings right. Right now you have to lift it up and and carry it in. It's on a way to do it right. Slide it where I can take and put these up higher like that. Oh, mm-hmm. Move both of them up and re-drill yeah, them. Yeah, but I guarantee you they've been out so long they're going to break. It might be it's hard easy. to get those bolts out of there. It's, it's so heavy. Yeah, how would we lift it up to get it back on there again? Right. Just have, have to, to do it the best we can. Have to jack it up and put it on boards, I guess. I guess. It yeah, would have it. to spread out over the pipe. Don't know if we can. What I need is a wire, a cable from going here to there. Oh. To hold it up. Out of there by the hole in the tree. We decided on the short term fix. I guess that's good enough right there, isn't it? This is a blind leading the blind here. I don't think a rope's going to do it. It ain't going to do it. You can't stoop down either. This takes me a while. Well, we already got down. I'll see if it swings. All you need is like an inch, isn't it? See, still got the drag all mm -hmm. It's slack in the pins for it. It's given right here. Hmm. You let go. It went down, but it still won't, might not go down as much. It was traffic. <laughs> it still might be better to dig a post hole and put another post there and then push it that way. Look. Oh, it's the post moving. Yeah, the whole post is moving. So we need to cement another post in. <clears throat> I think if you put another post in cement and let it dry good, you put a lot of cement, and then put a cable from one to the other, top to bottom. There's some way to tighten it, you know, some kind of come along to tighten it. I gotta come along. That's why. It's about four o'clock and I'm working on my embroidery. And Larry's jumping the old microwave, taking it apart. And I heard the train. Coming. It's rolling around again. I ain't had no loving, but time keeps dragging on. Hear that train will come rolling around the family. I haven't seen no freedom since I don't know when. I'm stuck in folks in prison. Time keeps dragging on. Yeah. 
heavy this thing is. Back time. This is what's left of a second stump that Larry burned. Not much there. Larry's still burning the same stump. It just keeps burning. Getting smaller and smaller. Thought this is Tuesday. Maybe the time we leave it'll be done. Sitting up there watching the fire burn and we just heard this sound like a tree fell over but with these limbs fell out of the tree. And he was about ready to throw them over before I could even get a picture of them. I guess when you're walking in the woods you better be careful. It's almost 8 o'clock and time to end the vlog. Got to get some editing done. Got a lot of files backed up today. I guess we'll be going back to Athens tomorrow, so got some errands to run then. Good night. God bless. There's lightning bugs here in the yard. I'm trying to see them. I wonder where they went. Oh well.